an athlete, what is it that you are looking for in a good game day preparation? I think it's, especially from my experience uh, in Pro Bowl, I think it's very easy to overload guys with information. Mm -hmm. um, we have all we have access to all kinds of data, all kinds of different stats. What their zone percent, their, uh, their zone swing percentages in two strike counts versus non two strike counts. What their chase percentages. We have we have we could have tables with literally like twenty columns and ten rows and like all these different possible stats. And I think it's really really easy to get overloaded. And I think the key is not necessarily have all the 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 correct data or the correct stats. The key is making that data actionable. So when I'm on the mound, I know what I'm doing and I have a plan, a very simple plan that I can go to uh, rather than thinking of like these massive charts in my head, like, okay, well, it's a two pre two strike count. And I know his in zone swing percentage on breaking balls is this like, no, that's not what I'm thinking about on the mound. What I'm yeah. thinking about is what pitch am I going to throw and where am I going to throw it? Um, mm -hmm. And so this is something I, I'm a big believer in, in terms of our advanced scouting is that the back end should be as complex as it needs to be. The back end should be, we have these models. We have all kinds of things feeding into these models, whether that's our arsenal scores, whether it's uh, our stuff models, whether it's our command models. The back end can be very, very complicated. But the front end, when you present it to a player, needs to be very simple and very actionable. Uh, so then in a big moment, they have something that they can go back to that's not extremely convoluted, extremely like difficult to remember. Uh, it needs to be a very simple front end for a very complex back end. That's kind of my philosophy.